welcome back to my YouTube. My name is Adrienne Farrow. I am your Google BFF, your friendly digital product specialist and your Google for Education certified trainer. And I am here today to talk to you about course copy versus template preview. And this is a hot topic within the teacher pay teacher digital product creation world, which one should you use? So I'm gonna to talk to you about force copy, template preview, pros and cons of each, which one you should use and why. And this is my personal preference, I will state, but I have seen a lot of success with using one of those in particular. So let's get started. All right, here is the test interactive notebook that I've been working in. I'm gonna pretend it's ready to go. And I'm going to go over here to share. And I'm gonna double check that my access is on anyone with the link can view. That is going to be your first thing that you need to pay attention to. I'm gonna go over here to a new slide deck, just purely so that I can have the type or the URL very clearly so you guys can see. So let's go to layout blank and let's get a new text box and we'll put in the link here. Okay, so this is the link to that presentation right here. Now, this is the part that you are going to delete for both of them. So I'm going to duplicate this and we're gonna delete it all the way through and put the word copy. That is going to be your forced copy link. And what it's going to look like is this. You're going to see copy document. Would you like to make a copy of test interactive notebook? Make a copy. Perfectly usable. That is called a force copy link where you just replace the word all the way up through edit with copy. Now the other one is template preview. So you can replace all the way up through there with the words template slash preview. And this is what it's going to look like here. You're actually going to get a view of whatever the product is, being able to go through the entire and look through. And then they're going to click on use template to be able to access the um, product. So here are your two different options. When you have, so we're taking this one, sharing it with our buyers using a forced copy link or a template preview link. Now let's get into the why. I'm a template preview fan and this is why. For some reason, I think during COVID distance learning time, people got really used to forced copy links and it's particularly easy for someone just to go through the copy, delete that word copy and put an edit and be able to get in um, and that's why it's really important to have your yours as anyone with the link can view. But there's just more changes that can get made. You get more access requests. It gets annoying. So template preview seems to cut down on that. And that is the number one reason why there's no like rhyme reason or hardcore evidence. It's just anecdotal evidence on why that one is a little bit better. But it just, it seems to work out. So here is that template preview one. And one of the main reasons I really like that template preview is this use template button. It clearly shows, okay, I'm a buyer, I'm looking at it. I know this is the product that I'm looking at. This is the one that I want to make a copy of. And when I use the template, it's going to give me that exact same naming convention for the title up here. And it's going to say test interactive notebook. Now, if I here, go here to make a copy of that force copy to so the other one, it's going to actually put copy of and then test interactive notebook. Now, while that might not be that huge of a difference, for me personally, because I am a person who likes to keep my drive organized, that copy of annoys me. And I would really like to have it just be clean and just know that that is where, you know, that's the name of the file and we're good to go. So again, personal preference really. Um, however, I have seen more success with template preview, primarily for two reasons. One is that there seems to be less bot errors on the buyer's end for making a copy of that, accidentally getting into edit um, or just getting those annoying, I need access um, emails. The other thing is 
I think personally, it's very professional to show what your product is, even if they're like going from a PDF preview or whatnot, you're showing your buyer and you're saying, hey, here is the product. Go ahead, make a copy of the template, and then here you go. So go ahead and give template preview a try. I have found great success, legitimately like maybe 0.5 or even 0% error rate. It is extremely, extremely successful. I will say one caveat is that it is different process in Google Forms to make a forced copy or a template preview. I do have a YouTube video that specifically goes over Google Forms and I'll link that down below. Um, but again, it's the same concept of forced copy and template preview, but it's different practice of where you actually grab the URL and make that copy. Hope you loved this video. It was helpful. Go ahead, please like and subscribe. It helps me bring more content to you. And I have a free Digitize with Google Masterclass. Um, the link is down below. As always, go ahead and find me on my website, www.adrianfarrow.com, over on Instagram at Especially Techie, or right here on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.